has had a hard day's fishing, and Siebert has had a hard day's playing. But now it's time to go home. Tommy and Siebert stroll home unaware of the strange adventure that is about to unfold. An adventure that will take them to the other side of the world. That was a fun day, huh, Siebert? Now let's have dinner. Good night, Siebert. Sleep well. That's a good one, boss. Shut up. Yeah, shut up. Did you plant the bug? Yep. Everything went like a dream. The kid and that seal thing were sound asleep. <laughs> That's why it went like a dream. Shut up. Yeah, shut up. Good. Now here's all we have to do. Sooner or later, those kids will get a call from someone who's got a rare animal of some sort that's in trouble. All we have to do is listen in on the conversation with the help of the super amplifier, and we've found ourselves a target. A target for what, boss? A kidnap target, which we will hold for ransom. Now, Sulfuric, you'll have to take the first watch. <laughs> I mean, the first listen. If you hear anything important, ring the bell. But, boss, I haven't even been to bed yet. You haven't heard anything useful yet. Now get those earphones on and start listening. Now oh, it's always me that gets the rotten jobs. I think I'll just have a little nap. <laughs> I think there's something wrong with the transmitter. It just exploded. My ears are still ringing. Hello, Tommy speaking. I'll be ringing you in a minute. Be quiet. Yes, of course. Tomorrow. Listen carefully. Someone's phoned. A panda. That's fantastic. From China all the way to France. Yes, thank you. I will. Goodbye now. Siebert, do you know what a panda is? Well, tomorrow you'll find out, because we're going to meet one and travel to a zoo in Paris with him. And guess where we're going to meet him? Mongolia. Mongolia? Yes, Siebert. You're going to travel with the panda on a train to stop him from being frightened. You see, pandas are very rare in the wild. So if we can form groups of them in zoos, we can save them from extinction. So first thing tomorrow, we fly to Russia. There we will meet the train from China with the panda aboard. So, a panda, eh? Well, now that's what we'll kidnap. But how, boss? I'll tell you how. We will travel to Russia in disguise. Then Carbone and I will board the same train as Tommy. What about me, boss? You will find a getaway vehicle. When we've taken over the train, you'll meet us with it. Then we'll escape with the panda. I'll explain everything in the morning. Come on, we've got work to do. Well, Siebert, we're on our way. Isn't it exciting? We've never been to Russia before. Our panda will soon be safe. <laughs> Tovarich, 
Tommy and Seabird, welcome, welcome. You've arrived safely. Good. Any moment now, the train will arrive with your special guest, the panda. Here, here are your tickets. Thank you, sir. Right, you. So, Fury, you know what you have to do. Yeah, yeah, I have to meet you with the getaway vehicle at Omno Mm, Okay, get going and try to get it right. Look, Siebert, here's the train now. Yes, Tommy, the panda will be at the end of the train in his own compartment. Here, climb aboard. Look, Siebert, there he is. Quick, you go and make friends with him. Good. He likes you. Hurry up, Carbon. Get aboard. The train's about to go. Goodbye. Goodbye, young Tommy. Goodbye, Seabert. Good luck. Ha. Good. Everything's going as planned. We're aboard, and the panda's aboard. Yep. I wonder where Sulfuric is now, boss. He had better be on his way to Omnipotsky with a getaway vehicle. Joseph, I'm Sulfuric. Mikhail sent me. Mikhail, eh? He said you have a vehicle I can buy. Do you have the money? Uh, yeah. Here. Good. Here it is. Good luck. You'll need it. Oh, no! This thing's got no brakes! I'll try the handbrake. Whoa! What do you want? Grigory sent me. I'm sulfuric. I'm Russian. Come in. Give me the money. A cat! Sulfuric. Boris sent me. Boris, eh? Don't tell me you come about the vehicle. Uh, yes, as a matter of fact. Got any money left? Left? Uh, oh, oh, yeah. Here. Good. If you step through that door, the vehicle is waiting. Now, goodbye, my friend. Through the door, eh? Ah, uh, a light switch. I'll turn it on and... Smokey will kill me when he sees this. Now, what's this lever for? Oh, Naposky, here I come! Well, Siebert, it didn't take long for you two to become friends. Come on, time for bed. Tomorrow will be a long day. <laughs> Sorry, Siebert. Just push them out of the way. What is it? What's this you found? Yes, something's wrong here. We'd better warn the conductor. Hold the chain, Siebert. Hey, that's a call from the caboose. I'll fix that, kid. You go and stop the engine. Uh, right, boss. I'm ready. Be careful with that thing. Hooray! Next stop, Omnipotsky! I wonder where the conductor is. This'll be him now. Hello? I, er, we found something very strange on the bottom of my shoe. I think it's a bug. So, you stepped on a bug. So what? No, no, I, I mean an electronic bug. Hmm, let me see. Yes, you're right, it is. What are you going to do? Oh, I'll probably write to the manufacturers and thank them. What? Uncle Smokey! In person. Good evening. <laughs> right on time. Well done, Carbon. Carbon? What's going on here? Ha, ha, ha.
<laughs> it's a panda nap. <laughs> a panda nap? Yes, and you are kidnapped. So just sit down, kid, and take a nap. <laughs> Carbon, you there? Uh, yep. I'm ready, boss. Okay, uncouple the caboose. Then tell the engine driver to take off. Okay. What are you going to do? We're going to sell your furry friend over there to the highest bidder. But you can't. He's a protected species. Yes, and I'm going to protect him. <laughs> what will happen to the panda now? Will Tommy and Seabrook be able to prevent Smokey's plans? And what about Sulfuric? Will he make it on time? For the blazes is that fool, Sulfuric. If he doesn't show up, I'll strangle him. That'll be hard if he's not here, boss. Quiet. Go and tie the kid up. Put that dirty little seal in the panda's cage. Okay, boss. Omniposky, 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 here I come. I knew something would go wrong. Why can't Sulfuric... Hey! What's that? Carbone, there's a train coming! A train? Omniposky, Omniposky, Omniposky... Ah! Where? Get out of the way! Hello? Is there anybody there? Grr, grr. Ah! A Yeti! Quick. <laughs> very funny. It happens to be very fast and then made it here in one piece. All right, all right. Stop arguing. Carbon, get the caboose hooked up. Okay, boss. She's ready to roll. Good. Start her up, Sulfuric. Move over and make some room. Which way are we going? Back that way. Two miles. There we'll find an old track, which leads to a deserted mine. Carbone, what's going on? Where are we going? Oh, you'll find out, kid. You'll never get away with this. That's where you're wrong. Look out the window. We are getting away with it. Okay, so far so good. Carbon, have you got the transmitter ready? Uh, yep, here it is. Okay, quiet everybody. Hello, hello. This is the Panda Special calling. Is there anyone there? Panda Special calling. Is there anybody there? Come in. What is it you want? Ha <laughs> ha! A million dollars for a panda. That's what I want. We're holding one for ransom. I'll keep him talking. You get the fix on their position. Ha! <laughs> They're thinking it over. We'll accept a near offer. A million dollars, you say? And where do you want us to meet you? On the Polsky. That's where they are. Good man. Come on, let's go and find them. So here's the deal, men. Tomorrow at midday, we'll meet them five miles from here at a railroad crossing where we'll hand over the panda in exchange for the money. Uh, what happens now, boss? We get some sleep. We've all got to be wide awake tomorrow. Someone who speaks English. You'll have to climb out through that window, Seabird. Be careful of the drop.
help. My name is Seabert. I am with my friend Tommy and a panda called Ped Zing. They have been kidnapped and are being held on a train in an old mine not far from here. Oh, Siebert, you are lucky. At my school, I learned to read and to speak your language. Come, I will help. Uh, 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 look at that. The, the seal's gone. <clears throat> Fancy that. Sulfuric. I don't like this. Oh, I think we're being watched. Yeah. Look. Siebert's tracks stop here. Ah! Run, Carbone! The place is full of wolves! Help! 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 Save us! Whoa! Don't worry about the wolves, Siebert. You are safe with me. Now, lead on to where you left your friend. silver mine they are in. Hmm. Come, Siebert. I know another way in. Good. There is the train. Now we have to get into the carriage. Ah, I have an idea. Siebert, help me. Now quick, Siebert. We must hide. How 
nice of you to drop in. Tea, anyone? What happened to the panda and Natasha? Natasha went home to her water mill with a reward from the zoo authorities. And Pet Singh finally arrived with us safely in his new home in Paris. Well, this story has ended happily for Siebert and his friends, but we in the real world must make sure that the panda's story never ends, as well as the story of many other endangered species which Tommy, Ara, and Siebert have worked so hard to protect. What other animals will need our friends' help? To find out, be sure to watch the next exciting episode of Siebert.